Hello everyone, it's Destiny of Manifest Destiny and today we're back with another natural hair video. Um, I'm going bright blonde. This is the dark and lovely number 11 bright blonde go intense ultra vibrant color for dark hair. It's just so like yellow, like look at that color, it's so yellow. But they recommend this color for these skin tones, even though the lady, when I went to their YouTube, she was, um, she had deep, rich chocolate, excuse me, she had deep, rich brown skin. So, yeah, I think anybody can do this color. It's very yellow though, and I'm afraid of that. And I'm thinking, I don't know, not a tutorial, this is just me showing what I'm doing. I'm thinking that I can tone it afterwards, but I don't know, I just don't know. Um, I don't mind if I don't like the color because, you know? Yeah. I really talk fast, I'm just like, but yeah, I'm using this light over here. So I'm sure it's bright, you can see me pretty good. But yeah, my hair is like the same color as my eyes and it's it's not red anymore. I have roots, I have roots. And over here, the color barely took. So I think I'm gonna put some coconut oil and pick it out. That's what I'm gonna do. This is why I don't like having hair, this, this part detangling. I miss my locks, I miss my locks. These are just old pants that were in my closet I'm giving away to Goodwill. I think I'm just gonna put it down so you can kind of see what I'm doing a little bit better. There we go. So I got the number two, I took the cap off and placed the cap right there so I don't lose it. Um, then I twist off the cap and then I put the entire number one inside of there. You know number one has that like pointy thing at the end. Boom. I did that. I got my, um, the incision has been made. And now we're gonna go ahead and insert the intense conditioning cream gel color into the applicator bottle with the cream developer. This is a very intense surgery. So just um, be alert and be prepared. <laughs> I don't know why, that made me think of Grey's Anatomy. I need to watch that, I stopped watching it. So squeeze all of this into there. And now I'm gonna put in my color booster. Okay, and then you replace the applicator cap securely. Place your glove, gloved finger over the tip, put it away from your face and shake. Love it. And um, I'm just gonna go ahead and apply it with the gloves with my hands. I bought one of those little applicator brushes. I don't need that. Okay, it says apply color at the hairline in the back, then continue upward. So I'm gonna start in the back and then go forward. Okay, you all, I'm back. Let's turn this light so it's not like right up in my face like that, okay. It's been 30 minutes. I checked back at 20, I didn't like what I saw. This has been 30 minutes. I'm basically just brown haired again. <laughs> like now I think it really might be the same color as my eyes. But yeah, it's been 30 minutes. I'm gonna leave it on for 45 minutes. And then after that, I'm just taking it out, I don't care. If it didn't do nothing, it just didn't do nothing, I guess. The mirror's dirty. I'm charging my camera, whatever, but look at this. What is this? So, 
we did that. Now we're going to go over to the kitchen. The kitchen's not going to have this light in there, so it's going to go back to like just my natural naturalness, I guess you could say. See? Boom, boom, boom. So that's how it looks like in the regular lighting in the house. I'm going to turn this light off. Turn this one off. Now we're in my kitchen. So I'm going to show you the products I'm going to use. But what does that have to do with this thing focusing? <laughs> That's what it has to do, Destiny. Okay. Wow. So everything y'all saw sucked probably. But that's okay. Moisture solution. Shampoo. Just a little mini one since my hair is so short. And I still have the color on my hair. So I'm really going like 50 minutes. Moisture solutions. Conditioner. The number three step. And then my new... Well, not my new. Yeah, because I usually use Shea Moisture, but this go around with this natural hair. I've been using whatever I can get at Marshall's or TJ Maxx. So this is the Co-Wash by On Jackie's Conditioning Cleanser. And I will say it gets my shit like super clean, but I think it still has sulfates in it. So whatever. And then I have the, like I said, the conditioner. So I'm going to do shampoo with this, maybe cleanse with this. Probably just condition with that and then deep condition with that. This I might just say for another day. Bitch wear. <laughs> so I guess my hair was still considered the dark one. So I'm here, but it's okay because we're going to go blonde gradually. Now I'm doing my conditioner, go intense, extra caring conditioner. But this is giving um, big fall, big autumn teas. So it's all good. Oh my God. My hair felt like, you know when your hair feels like super clean? That's how it felt. It was like so clean, squeaky clean. It was dry. It felt like a little noodle. That is a lot of conditioner. I could have left some of this conditioner, but whoever uses like a dime size, quarter size amount of conditioner, no. In my culture, in this, as far as me and my house, we will use, as far as me and my house, we will use all of the conditioner. What did they say? As far as me and, as far as me and my house, we will pray to God or we believe in God. We serve God. Hmm. Someone said, and I'm probably going to leave this conditioner on for an hour. <laughs> they say three to five minutes. What is three to five minutes going to do? But I guess that maybe the active ingredients only work three to five minutes, but I'll take my chances. Hello, you all. I'm back. I'm down here on the floor because I'm about to shoot a witchy haul video. Yeah, but um, this is my hair color. It didn't turn out bright blonde, brightest blonde, whatever, but it's the brightest that I guess my hair could lift today in the 50 or 40, 50 minutes that I left it on. I added some leave-in conditioner, which is cream-based, the one by Shea Moisture with the avocado or with the apple cider vinegar and the Jamaican black castor oil, that one. And I added in avocado, olive oil, and sunflower seed oil, a mix of that. And then I added, I finished it with a shea butter, mango butter mix. Yeah, so it's Destiny of Manifest Destiny. I want to thank you all for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed seeing my hair color and the process that it took for me to get this. If you did give me a thumbs up, comment down below on if you've ever tried that um, Go Intense Brightest Blonde color. Give me some tips, please. Please, please, please give me some tips down below. Until next time.